What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be replacing the airbags on the box truck. You guys can hear this? I got a replacement airbag and I'm gonna show you guys step by step. When I turn it off, the airbag is gonna leak. So that means everything gonna come falling down, but the battle jack will definitely help hold the truck in place so that replacing my airbag will be easier. But in some case, you really don't have to if your airbag is not that bad. So this is your airline right here. And you're gonna press this down and pull the hose up. You guys can see. I was able to fold the airline. The reason today, you guys can see my airbag is still in same position. All right guys, you're gonna need a 18 millimeter, 19 millimeter, and a 30 millimeter to complete this job, okay? So the 19 millimeter is gonna be for this guy right here. Oh, the airline is connecting to, right? You're gonna need a 19 millimeter. It's, it's sit right inside this guy right here. There you go, I can see it. It's sit right there. So you're gonna need a 19 millimeter to take it out. Once you take that out, first you have to disconnect your air like this, and then you take your 19 millimeter to take this out, all right? And once you take that out, you're gonna take your 30 millimeter. This right here, you're gonna have the washer sitting right on top of this, all right? The washer gonna be right on top of this, and then the little bowl right here will be on top of that. That's the one that hold the airbag to the truck, okay? You're gonna need your 30 millimeter, half inch, all right? You're definitely gonna need an impact range to take this thing out, right? Once you get that out, the underneath here, we're gonna need a 18 millimeter to take this out. All right, so this right here, you're gonna need your half inch impact range, right? Put this right here and get it out. I was able to take this one out with my 18 millimeter. Well, that one down there is a little rusty. I might have to put some WD-40, or uh, maybe heat it up with my uh, propane to see if it's gonna come out. But this one pretty easy to come out. So this is my propane over here. Uh, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. Because when it's rusty, when you heat it up, it's going to burn the rust. We'll be able to take it out. Uh, even if I spray the WD-40, you know, it might not come out. We have to heat it up really good. All right, guys, so after I burned it with the propane, I was able to get it out. Sometimes, no matter how powerful this wrench out, the rush, man, you have to use the propane to heat it up a little bit. So I was able to finally get it out. All right, and that's it. To take the air back out, all you have to do is press down to there, and you're gonna release the air, and then boom, you'll be able to disconnect it. So there we go. That's the old rusty air bag coming out. And that's it guys. Take this bad boy out. You see this? Yeah, um, I'm using the aftermarket um, airbags because the aftermarket one is a little cheaper. This one here is actually made by Firestone. So I guess it's a uh, good quality, but I'm gonna put the aftermarket and see if it's not doing good, then I might have to buy the OEM from the dealership and put it on. Okay guys, uh, it turns out the, the aftermarket airbags, I have to return it. And uh, I got it from a different parts store. So I went to the dealership to get the original one. All right, see this made by Firestone. And you can see the international logo right there. So the same situation here, international logo right here. And it says here, made by Firestone. You guys can see it already right there. So the reason to that is that the aftermarket one, they're not wrong with it. It's just the fact that um, 
when I touch the quality of the aftermarket one, it looks really different to me. And this truck, we get to move, you know, close to 10,000 pounds on this truck, pretty much. So you want to make sure you put the right stuff on it. But if you guys are interested in getting the aftermarket, this is honestly optional. I'm going to have the part number on my left and the OEM, I'm going to have that on my right side. So I'd rather go with the OEM. Um, the OEM is kind of like a $400, uh, you know, but you can negotiate with a dealership and get it for like $350 or so. Uh, but the aftermarket run is like $175. You're running your bus truck in the city, just doing local deliver. I think the aftermarket one is, is going to work fine. But like I said, on my truck, Falkley get to go on my truck sometime, you know, including the weight of the product we're moving. So I'd rather just go with the OEM parts. So uh keep in mind if you're getting your your airbags you want to make sure you get a, a, a replacement of the air connector before you install the airbag take your wrench and take this one out so we're not going to need this one right here we're just going to take our 18 millimeter and take this one out uh, the reason to that is that you have one already on the truck so you don't need that one you can keep that just in case this one go bad but it's never going to go bad anyway all right, so I just took it out, but we're gonna need this bowl. All right, so putting the airbag on could be easy. Hope you guys can see. First, we're gonna take this little thread protection. We're gonna take it out, show that you squeeze it together like this. So all you have to do here is just, I hope you guys see that, just put the bottom one right in there. Be careful with the thread, all right? Squeeze it a little bit together. All right. There you go. So we have the bottom piece in. You guys can see that. Now, what we're gonna do here is the the air nozzle connector. We're gonna put that in second. All right. You guys can see that coming out right there. And then the next thing is the last piece that out here. We're gonna put it into the plate right there. So you see, you guys see it now. It's back on. All right. So now we're gonna get our nuts and use our 30 millimeter to tighten it down. So we have the washer. We put the washer on top first, and then we have the nuts over here. Put it down. So we grab our 30 millimeter to hand tie this bad boy first, and before before we put the power tool on it, all right? I don't like to hand tie things first before I put power tool. All right, so we have it. You guys can see on top here, hope you guys see that. You guys can see we have the, you know, the opening section to connect the air nozzle, right? Then we're gonna leave this like this for now and go underneath and tighten the bottom one and tighten the other one right here before we come last to put the air nozzle on. So the bottom piece, we're just gonna grab the washer, all right? Put that one in there first. I hope you guys can see that. And put the, put this one. So you guys see here, all right? Kinda hand tie there. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, is go up there and tighten this guy too by hand before I started using my power tool. For the top one, we're gonna grab this bad boy here and hand tighten. Ready? We're gonna tighten this bad boy. All right, that's looking good to me. It's not going anywhere, guys. Looking good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom one. That's looking good so far. It's not going anywhere, guys. All right, be careful with this because you have a thread inside that you're going to need to connect your air nozzle, right? All right, that's good enough. So the last thing we're gonna do here is connect this guy right here, which is going right in there. All right, that's good enough. And then we're gonna grab a 19 millimeter and tighten it down, guys. For this one, I'm gonna use my hand, all right? Because, because of the, 
that rubber thing. I don't want to use any impact. So your hand should be good enough to tighten this. You always want to have this deep socket. It's very important. I have some in the 3 8 but they are short. Uh, I think it's looking good to me. You guys can see there. It's not a lot of lights over here, but for this right here, it looks great to me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and connect the, the air lines. So we have our new airbags and original international Firestone made, whatever. Everything looks good right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and fire up the truck. And now I will remove my jack stand, you see? The weight is getting off the the jack stand for the fact that you know I have a new airbag and everything like that. Everything looks good to me. This is on. Uh, this right here is on. Everything looks good so far. Uh, from this one here <laughs> to the brand new Firestone International airbag, guys. So this is how you replace your airbag. It's fitting up. leaks there's no more leaks compared to that weird leaks there you go no more leaks guys alrighty guys you guys can see here the PSI is I can say it's even see right there break one and break two. They look even though everything looking nice. That doesn't sense like we have any leaks, right? No way. Now um I have a lot of DIY to do today. I have to do the oil change and also the muff locks on the driver side is kind of rip off and I have to remove that and replace that. So I just got a new muff locks. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. It's it's pretty bad looking right now. So, um, I just got a new mufflers from the dealership over here. The quality is completely different from the one that on the truck right now. All right, man. So, I just went ahead and replaced the mufflers. My driver's here to pick up his truck. Uh, thankfully, everything looking good. This truck been on for the past 45 minutes. It haven't even, like you guys know, when it's like uh, taking air and, it's, you know, a discharge the air, you can hear that, right? Not like that. So I got brand new, you know, muff flex everywhere. It looking nice and everything. My driver's happy. Went from Africa once again. Uh, I'm about to do the quick oil change. That's the reason I left the truck out of it for that long, so it can heat up the engine. So I'll be doing the oil change in a minute. If you guys looking for the oil change video, check out. I already have a video on that, so I see no reason doing another video on the oil change. But I will see you guys in the next video, man. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Yep. Driving great, guys.